democratic deficit. We've heard from Murdo talking about the way in which there was barely, barely a majority for the GHA's creation, barely a majority for the creation of this monster that has metastasized across the country. And we've heard what that meant, what that's meant in terms of 19 local authorities. We've heard what that's meant in terms of the human cost, the human cost of the GHA's monstrous demolition program. A demolition program that is now exporting across the country. Because just like the Wineford, just like the Wineford in Dumfries and Galloway, where they now control all the former council housing, they are demolishing a housing scheme there. And just like the Wineford, they are aiming to use the Scottish Government's cuts to the affordable housing supply grant, it's cuts to the houses, cuts to the houses, to change the balance of their books away from social housing to mid-market rent, because it's cheaper to build one mid-market rent house than it is to build one social house. But you know what the benefit of that is? Higher rents. We already have a rent crisis. We have a housing crisis in every aspect. But fundamentally, it's a democratic crisis. Woo. So we've decided in the Wineford, we had a meeting last night, we exchanged views, but we thought about it. Wheatley say they have 87% in favour of the demolition of these 600 social homes. Now we know that that was a pockle. It really was a pockle because they had the housing officers decide on behalf of the tenants what the tenants felt about that. And we ran our own consultation our own consultation over the summer. And we found that, surprise, surprise, the vast majority of the people of the Wineford totally disagree with what the Wheatley Group are doing. We've got that online, you can check out, I'll not quote the figures, but it was a super majority against the Wheatley Group's plans. So, we want to put the issue of what the people think to the people. We've been in contact with Civica Election Services and they say, yes, we can run a ballot, so we will have a referendum on whether they take down these 600 social homes. And we want to export that idea right across the country. But all the places that are suffering because of this metastasization of privatization. Let's get them beat.